Break a one nine, break a one nine. This is Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Breaker one nine. This is a Charlie Five. Let's get going, Charlie Five. Today we're talking secret codes that the cruise lines don't want you to know, but we're telling you. Oh, you know that Frank and I cruise often and we've always got our eyes and ears mm -hmm. open and aware That's and right. we've heard some of these codes and we've wondered what they meant. That's right. Maybe you have too. So we're going to go down a list that we've done some research on because we found out what those codes mean. Oh, and we're going to let you know so that you're aware when you're on a cruise ship so you know what's going on. Always be prepared. That's right. No secrets. So the first Ooh. is Sierra. What does that mean? Well, Sierra means that somebody is in need of a stretcher. So maybe somebody twisted their ankle or, um, I don't know, maybe your wheel fell off your wheelchair and you oh, need a stretcher yeah, to get I to would, the room. I need something. <gasps> so if you hear Sierra, 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 you know that someone is in need of a stretcher. The next one? Oh, echo, echo, echo. Is there an echo in here? No, just echo, echo, echo. <laughs> What's that mean, Frank? Well, this signal actually means that the ship is facing a possible collision <gasps> with another vessel. And those of you who have been watching the news lately knows that our, our military uh, aircraft carriers seem to be colliding with oil tankers out in the ocean. Don't know yeah. how that's happening, but there's been four collision so far this year. So, um, haven't heard anything about a cruise ship doing that. So, right. let's make sure that uh, our captain is on top of things. That's right. Now, if your captain isn't on top of their things, or if some other captain isn't on top of mm -hmm. command of their vessel, then you're going to hear Delta, Delta, Delta. Uh-oh. What you know mean? why you're going to hear that? <laughs> because the ship has been damaged. Right. So, obviously, if you collide with something, there's going to be damage. But there might be other reasons why they use the Delta call sign. But if you hear them say Delta, 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 then... Something broke! Yup. <laughs> thumbs broken with Delta Dawn, baby. <laughs> the next one is Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Who's Charlie? I don't know, but... Uh... Someone sounds like they're looking for him. <laughs> no, they're not looking for him. It just means that there's a significant security threat on board. Mm. A robbery, a fight. Yeah, somebody something. doing something they shouldn't be doing. Yep, so when you hear Charlie, 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 you better hightail it out of there because... Charlie's been a bad boy. <laughs> that's right, and security is on its that's way. That's right. The next one is... Uh, Mr. Mob, as well, they call it, or... sometimes they say Oscar, 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 and they don't mean Oscar the Grouch. Oh, no. This is because someone has gone overboard. I bet that one that's overboard has been pretty grouchy. Oh, God. Maybe that's why they did call it Oscar, Oscar, I Oscar. No, That is sad. Don't let it that happen is. to you. You don't want to be called Mr. Mob. That's right. And the next one is... Code Red, Code Red. Ooh, that's never a good sign. Well, I'm not talking about Code Red Mountain Dew. <laughs> uh, we are talking Code Red. It is full on. You better be prepared for this one, people. Uh, because it means there's a major outbreak of illness or sickness on the ship. Right. Uh, Quarantines have probably been enacted. Yep. Uh, the to ship reduce... is going to be starting to yeah. be cleaned. Yep. Uh, people are going to be quarantined to their rooms. It's not a pretty sight. No, it's never happened no. to us on any of our cruises. Right. I do have a few customers that were quarantined on the Harmony of the Seas for three days yeah. uh, in St. Thomas, but I think it was. Many people have experienced a massive outbreak of the neurovirus yes. while they're on a cruise ship. Wash your yes. hands. Cleanliness. 
uh, will solve all these issues. So the next one, oh, it sounds so pretty it though. Does. What is it called? Operation Bright Star. Oh, well that sounds so nice, but there what are, is it? Well, there's actually other names for it. Mm -hmm. There's uh, Mr. Skylight. Sometimes it's Alpha Alpha Alpha. Oh, like Top Dog. <laughs> code Blue. Oh, pretty blue. Star Code. Star code, star code. You notice a theme? They always do these things in threes. I know, always. Uh, Me but medical emergency. Yeah, that's a medical emergency. Yeah. Someone so. has fainted. Someone had a heart attack. A uh, stroke. Right. Uh, uh, insulin. Insulin gone bad. Yeah, uh, what about they got, maybe they got stung by a bee? Right. Anaphylactic shock. Not good. Now, the next is a very sad occasion. It has happened on one of our cruises before. Um, actually, it might have happened on two of our cruises. I know. Uh-oh. Yeah. How come I'm not aware of this? Well, you are aware of the one. Um, it happened in 2014 when we were on the Conquest, and it happened in 2016 when we were on the Valor. Oh, my gosh. And what was uh, it? The Valor, it happened in the first port. Oh. Uh, so it was very hush-hush. I just happened to be in the area when I saw them. Taking the body off the ship. Yes. So basically, it's called, uh, the secret code is called Operation Rising Star. Yeah, someone has passed away while on the cruise ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they do have protocols mm -hmm. in effect for in case someone were to um, die on board. Uh, and it's, it's very sad. Um, when that but happens. they actually have um, a place where they, you know, cooler to they put have the, like a little mortuary you know, area. The body. Um, yeah. yeah, very sad. Well, the next uh, is um, Bravo, Bravo, Bravo! Yeah, and I don't want to hear that one. I don't want to hear that either, and I don't even want to joke about it because I just was having this thought of. Uh, Johnny Bravo go through my head, oh, remember? Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo from the Brady Bunch. Yes, the Brady Bunch. But, but this is not a joking yeah, matter. Because that means there's a fire on board the ship. And if you're not familiar with ships, fire yeah. is the biggest problem and threat, and threat aboard uh, 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 any vessel. Any vessel at all because even though you're in the middle of the water it can rip through a <laughs> ship yeah yeah uh so you definitely do not want to hear bravo 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 if you hear bravo 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 we suggest get your little fanny to your lifeboat section it, that would be my opinion well, we'd be headed back to the cabin yeah. you know my i'd be emptying the safe gathering up all our uh our well, you can't bring a lot of stuff with you. Yeah, I'm bringing a little bag, and it's going to have right. all our identification. And medications. I, right, medications, because you just don't know. Because it leads us <coughs> to the, the last one, yes, which, which everyone which, prepares for, and they're required. And if, if, you don't, if you've been on a cruise and you don't know what this means, yeah. then you have not been paying attention, and I am ashamed of Shame you. Shame on you. Uh, if you hear seven short blasts, on a ship's horn, it is not a good sign. Oh. Seven blasts on a ship's horn mean that everybody needs to go to their muster station. Their muster right. station is where they're, where they're supposed to meet for their lifeboat. That's right. It's the area that you and your cabin have been assigned to that lifeboat. And when you hear those seven short blasts, uh, it's getting real, people. Yeah. So you need to get going. Uh, and and uh, get to your station as fast as possible and um, get with your loved ones. That's right. So those are the top 10 secret codes mm -hmm. that the cruise lines don't tell you exist. Right. And now not so secret anymore. That's right. And uh, who used to say it? There used to be a show, uh, Now You Know. They used to say knowledge is power and now you know. Now you know. So now you know. Uh, when right. you hear these, we've blown the lid off of this whole secret code That's thing. right. So, on behalf of Kevin and myself from Cruising with Wheels, don't forget to travel safe and cruise often. See ya. Bye. <laughs>
I burp. Okay, so why can't you say it? Oh, all right. We've blown the lid off this whole operation. That's right. Ah, close it up, we're done. <laughs>